Here are some hints for dihybrid crosses. Specifically, what are all the possible gametes you can get from a certain parent? How do you figure that out? Well, for example, what about a cross between this parent and this parent? And if you notice, I'm calling it a parent, not parental. Right? Just a parent or just a cross doesn't imply anything. You need to look at the genotype or be told something about a phenotype. So not parental, not true breeding, just some cross of two traits. Right? Tall and purple, something like that. So what would we do? We would take this first parent and we'd figure out all the possible gametes. Remember, each gene is on a separate chromosome. Right? So this might be on chromosome 14. Chromosome 14, one of them. Chromosome 14, the other one. Chromosome 16, one of them. Chromosome 16, the other one. So when we're making gametes, the big T here could go with the big P. Right? That might be what happens in anaphase 1. So we could have a gamete, big T, big P. This big T could have also ended up on the side with the little p. So it's also equally possible that that gamete arrived. Then what about this big T? Yep, that big P. Whoops, I got a big T. Big P. What about this big T and that little p? Yep. Big T, little p. Those are the four possibilities that could occur at any given meiotic event. Okay, what about the other parent? Same idea, right? Homologous pair, one of them carries big T, the other carries little t. Hom a different homologous pair, one carrying little p, the other carrying little p. What are the combinations? Big T with little p this big T with that little p, this little t with that little p, and this little t with that little p. What do we notice about both of these? Any time that there's a heterozygote in one of the traits, right, we get duplicate. These two are the same and these two are the same. These two are the same and these two are the same. Duplicate gametes. You can always make your square. These would be the four on one side. These would be the four on the other. It's 16 squares. Fill them all out. It'll take you a while, but that's how you do it. Otherwise, if you have duplicates, you can eliminate one of each of the duplicates. Just make sure you do it correctly. We could eliminate one of these two. So let's get rid of that one. We could eliminate one of these two because they're exactly the same. What else? These two, one of them. These two are identical, one of them. Now we're left with what? What would the square sides look like? Just two on one side, two on the other. Just make sure you set them up, one down the side, one across the top, and not mix that up. This would be the square we'd have to fill out if we used all four of the gametes, even though they're duplicate. And you can fill these in and see, because we're doing probability, we really can just eliminate this whole lane and this whole lane and only end up with a square with four. That will save us lots of time. If we do that, what we see is that not all of our squares are four by fours. Not all of them are going to look like that when we have two genes. As it turns out, the only ones that have the 16 squares are is if they're both heterozygotes. You'd have to have this cross in order to really need to use all of them. That's not what we're doing. We're doing this cross. So what would we do? Not fill all of them out, just do these. Big T, big T, little P, little P, big T, big T, big P, little P, big T, little T, little P, little P, big T, little T, big P, little P. All of these are different genotypes. We'd say one to one to one to one. One fourth is this guy, one fourth is this guy, one fourth is this guy, one fourth is this guy. 
if we were looking at phenotypes, right, this is Gino, what about pheno? Well, we don't know what it stands for. I said tall and purple, but at least dominant, 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 recessive, blah, blah, blah. Right? <clears throat> Which ones would be tall? All of them. Which ones would be sh purple? Two of them. Which ones would be white? Two of them. But we want to know what are they together. These are tall white. This is tall white. This is tall purple. This is tall purple. So our phenotypes are only one to one. Half of them are tall white. Half are tall purple. So make sure you're answering the questions, genotype or phenotype, because they're not the same. Sometimes they are. Most of the time they're not. And there you have it. That's making some gametes and making crosses.